Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to resize an image to fit onto a 4x6 print if that image isn't cropped exactly to 4x6. If you're looking for an easier way to do this, I recommend tapping into the video that I made about how to crop and resize to print on a 4x6 printer. This video is about how to resize an image to fit onto a 4x6 print if it's not exactly cropped to a four by six ratio. So let's jump right into it. This is assuming that you have finished all of your edits. This is gonna be the last thing that you do after you're done. When you're ready to resize the image, you're gonna to go to, uh, oops, I'm in Chrome, there we go. Image, image size. So if I go ahead and click on image, image size, the first step of this is the same as it is if you have an image that is already cropped to two to three ratio and that is to set the resolution so the resolution standard resolution I should say for printing is 300 pixels per inch the next step is to look carefully and see which is bigger width or height so you need to look and determine whether you're going to be changing the width or the height and what you're changing it to making sure that this little link right here is selected so that these little lines are here. If you don't see these little lines right here connecting the width and the height, go ahead and click on the little chain icon right there in between the width and the height. That will allow you to change one and it will automatically change the other. So again, what we wanna do is make sure that this image fits onto a four by six print on a four by six printer. So it needs to be no bigger than four inches by six inches. Let's go ahead and change these numbers and see what we get into. Of course, our unit should be inches. So if it's not, you need to change this to inches. If you set it to percent, pixels, centimeters, millimeters, points, picos, anything except inches, you're gonna run into a problem. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the bigger of the two numbers. Again, it could be height or it could be width. I'm gonna choose the bigger of the two numbers and I'm gonna choose six and I'm gonna plug in six using the keyboard. Now, the problem you may have spotted is that six by 4.5 inches is bigger than four by six inches. So it's not gonna fit onto the paper when we go to print. So this is the thing that we need to figure out how to navigate. What we're gonna do Next is simply go down to our 4.5 and change that to four. And four by 5.333 will fit onto a four by six print. So we need to be looking at this and thinking about this. Essentially, the four by six page is the largest that an image can be, four inches by six inches. If the image isn't cropped exactly to that four to six ratio or two to three, we need to make it fit onto that four by six. In other words, that the dimensions, the width and the height can be no bigger than four by six, but we want it to be as big as possible because four by six inches isn't a huge print. So we wanna make sure that it fits onto that four by six printer without going too small and without going over four inches by six inches. So we need to be looking at both of these numbers. And this here is the largest dimension that this particular photo can be and still fit on a four by six print. If we had left it over here at six on the long side, the height at 4.5 is gonna to be too big, right? We also wanna make sure that we don't accidentally plug in six on the small side because then the number for the width is eight inches. Obviously that is gonna be much too big. This eight inches by six inches won't fit onto a four by six page. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and plug in four. We look at the way that the width is resized to 5.333, and that is totally okay. It fits onto the four by six page. It's not too big and it's not too small. In fact, it's as big as it can be without being, being too big. We're gonna go ahead and click okay, save our work, and we are done.